Northridge School, Mexico, a case study, the emergence of the uninternational school. In the world of international education, there is a rise in the trend of academically challenged countries offering international experience to their local students. These institutions often boast diverse, international teaching staff while catering to a predominantly homogeneous student body. As an international teacher, my experience at Northridge, Mexico shed light on several critical red flags that potential educators should consider when choosing a school for their career. This article aims to unravel these warning signs and emphasize the importance of seeking a serious and stable teaching assignment. Red Flag 1, The Culture of the School Northridge, Mexico is what one might call a pay-to-play establishment. Its selling point revolves around the Opus Dei ideology, with a clear hierarchy that places religion, sports, music, and academics in descending order of significance. Unfortunately, the academic culture is notably weak. It's crucial to recognize that in private schools, students and their families are the paying customers, and the school's priorities may reflect this dynamic. Red flag 2, the general context slash country of the school. The context in which a school operates can significantly impact the educational system. In Mexico, there is no universal exam for university entry, except for some universities like UNAM. This absence of a standardized entrance exam allows room for a more flexible approach to education, which can sometimes lead to patronage, bullying, and intimidation for favorable reference letters. This system may not be as conducive to producing a highly competitive academic environment, and this is reflected in the overall educational outcomes. Red Flag 3, Weak Leadership Effective leadership is crucial for any educational institution. At Northridge, Mexico, the headmaster's visibility, especially to international teachers, was lacking. School meetings conducted exclusively in Spanish created a divide, with the headmaster seldom interacting with teachers. This bizarre situation saw the HR manager taking on the role of liaison with teachers. Red Flag 4 absence of a specific curriculum the school had an absence of a specific curriculum leading to a scenario where every teacher had the liberty to teach what they wanted this lack of standardized assessments made it impossible to compare the progress of different classes within the same grade red flag 5 language disparities a significant divide existed between local and international teachers when it came to language. Local teachers primarily taught in Spanish, while international teachers taught in English. This language disparity was rooted in students' excellent English skills and the apprehension of some local teachers about their English proficiency in front of students. Red Flag 6, Differential Student Behavior Students exhibited different behaviors towards international teachers compared to local ones. The mentality among students seemed to be let's have fun with international teachers, given the perceived cultural differences and more relaxed atmosphere they brought to the classroom. Red Flag 7, Country of Origin Bias Among foreign teachers, students exhibited varying behavior based on the teacher's country of origin. Teachers from certain countries, like the USA, were often perceived as superior to teachers from less economically privileged countries, for example. Venezuela, creating disparities in how students treated educators. Red Flag 8, Lack of Accountability and Punishment. In a private school setting where families hold significant influence, it can be challenging to hold students accountable for their actions. 
Instances of students avoiding punishment due to parental influence were not uncommon. For example, a number of senior staff afraid Gerardo's mother. Red flag nine, pay disparities. A glaring pay gap existed between local and international teachers, compounded by language and cultural differences makes it practically very difficult to mix socially. Red flag 10, informal student behavior. Students often exhibited highly informal behavior, frequently asking personal questions and displaying rudeness, both implicitly and explicitly. This informality created an uncomfortable teaching environment. There is an extremely aggressive patronizing culture when it comes to grades and academic misconduct is rampant. Red flag 11, immature cultural identity. Students often grappled with an immature perception of their cultural identity. They showcased a bipolar and inconsistent approach, oscillating between pride in their Mexican heritage, such as supporting bullfighting and adopting American cultural elements. Even aligning with figures like Donald Trump, who denigrated Mexicans, because they say is talking about the other Mexicans, 